Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Fortuna, a roguelite city builder resource management game that is mixed with slot machine elements, which, of course, I am very curious to see what exactly that means. So in, we're going to be going. We're checking out the demo as part of the Steam Next Fest. So here we go. Oh... Oh, there we go. Okay. I swear it broke something. Welcome to the... A rough color for that background. Welcome to the Fortuna prototype. Fortuna is a city builder that draws its influences from the roguelite and deck building genres. Or styles. Again, I can't... It's so tough to read that. You play as Fortune, a young weaver of destiny, living in the Yggdrasil. Unfortunately, every time she weaves destiny, the outcome is uncertain. In this game, unlike other city builders, time and resources only change when you decide to weave fate. To get started, place a campfire. This is the heart of your village. Each new building you'll build will need to be connected to the campfire with a road. Buildings will add symbols to your weaving machine. Symbols will be drawn randomly to weave destiny. Be careful. When weaving destiny, you can either generate or destroy resources, depending on whether the symbol is blue or red. All you have to do is guide your mortals to prosperous life and build a wonder, representing the Yggdrasil. Succeed. And mortals will lose... Wait, succeed before mortals lose faith. Good luck and may fortune be with you. Well, thank you so much. Oh, okay, good. We can scroll it. I was I was worried we were not going to be able to. Uh, all right, weave. You know, this looks like a good spot for our campfire. What do we got? Good sap storage vents. Campfire. Effects. Three... Three blue food, two red food, three blue rock, two red rock. Is that like the tiles? Is this, this is probably 20, we have, yeah, we have, okay. So this is, all right. Take it from like, like a luck be a landlord angle. We have 25 empties, three blue goods, two red goods. Three blue materials, two red materials. All right, so let's uh, let's see what do we got here. We can get goods, materials, sap. Okay, generates. Okay, so if I put this down, ah, if I put this down next to a tree, it gives me an extra blue goods tile. Gotcha. Normally it does six, costs ten goods and one person. We have one person. Okay. House. House has negative impact. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting way of managing it. House has a negative impact on uh, goods and materials because, you know, normally that's how you have to spend some resources to get a person in town. Gotcha. So that's how that's handled. So I feel like maybe spending the one person we have to guarantee like we get that going seems like a good call. So that should have added seven. Yeah, we have ten tiles there. Ten blue tiles. Do we want to add a person? So what is this? This is... That's how we weave fate. That's how we spin the slot machine. Gotcha. But we still have a bunch of materials to play around with. Uh, so fortune teller, altar, storage. I can't imagine we'd want storage as our first kind of a thing. So we can do a... Wait, where can we do this? We need another person to make a farm. Gotcha. So I don't really want to block in my campfire immediately. So I guess like getting a road out seems like a good call. That costs two materials. Okay. And since it's irrelevant to me whether or not the house is by the forest, it didn't have any set bonuses, right? Like, no. Okay, so that added another mortal. So we could... Oh, you can explode stuff. Okay, so farm, storage, altar. What does the farm do? I'm assuming... Okay, adds four to the food. Four blues to the food. Bonuses if it's near water. Um, I guess I could do that. We could put the farm here. 
So that gives us an extra one. I think we're out of uh, out of any materials of note here. Okay, so let's let's spin. It takes one faith. I don't know how to get faith. Is that something here? Like altar effects gate. Okay. It adds two red faith and one... Wait, or two blue faith and one red faith and a question mark token of some kind. That's three and two. Oh my god. Near mountain, get an extra... Alright, well, let's weave for now. Let's see what we got. Spin the wheel. What do we got? Okay, so we got 27 uh, materials, a little bit of goods. So what do I need to make right now so there's obviously we could get another farm that's how we get more goods I wouldn't mind that so we do need to link this up okay so how are we doing here we got what we need for this so oh, we need some kind of like water or something what the hell vineyard Mine is too expensive. We need four people. Where, how do we get that water? Whatever the heck that is. Oh, whatever that is, it's from the fortune teller. Gotcha. And we want to build that near a forest. We'll need a person, 15 food. Uh, we'll also need a storage facility before we can do that. So we, we, should we crank it one more time? Okay, okay, okay. Looking pretty good. Oh my god, we got a huge amount of food there. What the heck? So, okay. I, I think that getting a storage is actually going to be pretty nice. Does need to be connected. But I don't really care if it's by the water. So, ouch. Bump that there. So we're sort of looking at this like a big puzzle map, more or less. Gotcha. So what do we do with these goods, with all these goods? I mean, this is going to add... Okay, so that would bring us to just as many negatives as positives for our, uh, our goods. But X times 2, X minus 1. It does seem like neutral, neutral strays positive, but I'll tell you what. No point to build the house before the spin here. Ouch. Not a very good one. What is this bag? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. So what do we need to build a wonder? Oh my god! 400 materials, 250 goods. So this is our, like, end, end point, and we need five faith as well at the end. Gotcha. You know what? I'm going to spin it again before we uh, we add another person. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, we hit it big. We hit it big. We hit it big. So, okay, hold on. 14 teller. We needed... We need another person. Okay. So we have to do that. Fortune teller. Can we get now? Now we need more materials. We should be fine to get that next time, though. Ooh. Oh my god, that we love... Freaking person? Screw you. What's the end do for us? Effects? I don't know what that coin is. It may be like a random event. Is kind of my guess. Hmm. So if I put this here, it won't be connected unless I put a road here. But I'm kind of okay with doing it that way, because otherwise we'll never use this tile. And it would make me feel bad to look at that and be... It'd have no impact. Come on. Come on. No whammies. Oh god, it's so sad, but you know what? That's fine. So fortune teller, it's 50-50. Bonus if it's near water. So, here's my question. Mm. 
This, this will count as connected. That'll count as connected. So we can build the fortune... No, that uses... Yep, I was going to say, that uses just enough to ruin things for us. But I wanted to have it by the water, because if it's going to add two and two, that seems stupid, right? Like, when I could have it add three positive and two negative. So we just hope that we don't beef this weave here. Oh, come on. Right at the end. Okay, good. Okay. So if it's near water... Oh, it's near forest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was near the forest. Rip. It's fine. It's fine. So we ended up gaining water. One water or whatever you want to call it. Sap. Oh, it's sap. Fortune teller generates sap. Interesting. Okay, so what what were we what did we want sap for? I think that for we need six for a villa. But it is pretty hefty the penalty there. I think we want to make sure we build up like a good set of uh, stuff like this. We are gonna need another person. That's the thing. It's oh god, the people they tank the uh, they absolutely tank this thing here. So we kind of want to roll until we have max materials, right? Like, see, there we go. And now we can build a house and it won't be so bad. Okay. All right, now I think that we kind of want to get something like, I mean, what are we at? We're at 17, 14, 13, 8. Okay, that's, I mean, it's not so bad. Maybe we actually can just, um, get another fortune teller and actually put it by the forest. Put the fortune teller here. Then theoretically, like, running the road past, like, this could be pretty good. But what else could we do here? Can I afford... I wish that I didn't have to... If I accidentally click wrong here. Okay. We'd have to link that up. I don't... We have enough materials to do that, right? Yep. We could even put another thing here. We got really lucky with that. That being said, we're done, though, because we need. We would need another person. It's probably fine to do. I do realize, unless I can build a road here... Okay, I can. Like, I don't love what I'm doing here. But, okay. There's that. Got another person. We could build another something-something over here. You want a lodging camp? 24, 18, 5, 4. I'll tell you what. Let's just get another one of those. Let's uh, send it. Weave it. Give me some water. Mm. Plus one. How do we get rid of empties? Or is just is there just always going to be 25 empties to uh, try and encourage us to fill it up with more stuff? I think that that might be the case. I'll probably put a couple homes here. I am tempted to see what the inn is about. No rewards for putting it anywhere in specific. Question mark, question mark, question mark. No effect on resources. Is, is that just like... It just can show up now. Interesting. Uh, I don't really have the materials for anything else. The next thing I would need to do would be another house anyways. Which, why would I do that right now? Doesn't make sense. Come on, baby. Oh my god. Okay, so we have... We got enough... Um, we have enough sap for this. We just don't have the materials. Is materials the thing that we're consistently needing? I feel like drawing the line like here is a little bit... Yeah. 
but like we could also just rip the rip right through here that could be okay i feel like we just should have done it in like more of a standard grid formation i think that would be more optimal but i'm just learning a couple systems all at the same time here you know a handful of systems so obviously we're gonna not have the perfect answer to it quite yet but do i make a house before the next spin we are we are running low on faith i think that that is a crucial element to think about Near crystals give you an extra one of those. So we would need four people for that. That's urgent. I feel like the build menu should not go away every time we right click. As well. But every time we click anything, it does it does go away here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Plus the minus four sap. Are you freaking kidding me? We got so unlucky with that. God, adds 5 and 10 negative. That, I mean, that's so painful. And it's 35 wood. So 35 wood plus... We'll need 20 and 4 sap. So we need... We're going to need 55 uh, wood before we tap out of anything here. Come on. Come on. Yes. No way. Oh, let's go. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. We can make that happen. So we can do a villa. And then we can do... So this is a crystal, right? Yeah, this is crystal. So I can theoretically build on this tile. I could build on this tile too, but then I'd be like... I don't know. So let's buy that. Oh my god, I'm missing one good! Please. Oh no, the fact that I have to spin this is so bad. We're risking a lot. Come on. Okay, I, am I able to... I'm still able to build it, thank God. Whew! Because I need to be able to generate more faith, because otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> if we don't generate more faith and uh, and we generate it soon, then we're, we're in for a bad time. Okay. So, a couple... Two houses would be fine, but we're also sitting at 24, uh, 28. I feel like we're going to need to make sure we get more farms... We're going to need want like another farm right there. Heavy rains have been inundating your village. Miraculously, your crops have not only survived, they're thriving. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's what the question mark is. That's that's the events. Oh. I mean, that's good, but like also we beefed it here. Okay, a logging camp I would enjoy getting that, but it's 10, 10, 1. It's fine. We, we can overflow this. You can't build on this type of tile. Oh, what? Didn't I just do that up here, though? I could have sworn I literally did just do that. The logging camp can build on the forest, at the very least. So maybe on the tiles that it can be built by... It still can. So we're sitting at 3128. Oh my god. It's obscene. So what do we need for the uh, extra farm? Just 10 goods. Just 10 goods. Which we should have been more, we should be more likely to get now. You forgot to close the gate the hen oh, to the hen house last night. You'll have to hunt down all the chickens. Oh, shoot. Okay. And then we lose 10, uh, 10 more goods. On top of the fact that I already was going to. Oh, this ain't looking great. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on, man. At least we're getting faith, you know? That we're getting sap and a lot of sap and a lot of faith. Uh, which is something, but we could lose it all in a heartbeat. We just need one juicy roll. There we go. When you get to the farm today, you have a light bulb moment. Grow mushrooms. You pull up all your crops, chop down a few trees, deposit the trunks in the middle of the field, and wait. But no mushrooms sprout. It wasn't such a good idea after all. You should have food this winter. Uh, here's the thing. I would say that there should you should have one of these by default. I really think so. 
Okay, 44 materials, thank God. I don't have another person. 18, 15, 31, 28, 8, 4. I mean, it's looking fine, and we should be generating a, uh, an amount of faith. An amount. At the very least here. Um... So I guess the next thing we would we'd have to do would be a house. We're missing the goods to do so. Come on. How are we looking? Oh, it oh it hurts. Oh my God! You return to the village with your harvest when the wooden bridge gives way under the weight of the load. A group of villagers passing by pulls you out of the river. You are safe and sound, but you've lost the fruits of your labor. Minus ten food. Oh my God. These events are ruining me. Plus two, minus 15, minus three. You've got to be kidding me, man. Can I just get, like, a good roll? Oh, my God. Like, the thing is, I you have to build the houses in order to build all the other stuff. And I, like, I really don't want these extra materials here at this point. More food is more food is fine. Like, uh, so which thing do we need for the lodging camp? You need, you do need more goods. This generates goods. Like, I could build a stinky, stinky little house. And another stinky, stinky little farm, I guess. Assuming we can afford the road. I don't know, man. We got 23, so we do... Ooh, your work tools aren't functioning properly. You have to spend the whole day fixing them. I swear, this inn is just destroying me. Okay, look at that. At least we are popping off like crazy on the uh, the wood department here. That being said, like, oh my god, my faith is shooketh. Okay. Again, I could build more farms, but again, I would have to build homes to do so. And do I really want to? Also, I can't. I couldn't even if I wanted to, and I don't know if I want to. Okay. Something. 1864. So, yeah, we're... I guess we're hurting for... A little bit of uh, materials. So the logging camp would be really nice. please. And then we could like... 38, 32, 23, 7. Okay, so everything... We have more positives than negatives. It's just like... You, you can't really change it too much. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 29, 0, plus 1. Okay, we at least got a bunch of sap. I, again, would really, really like to go for another um, altar because we are losing so much faith when we have none I'm assuming we lose but um, hmm. we would need 40 goods and 4 people house gives 2 so we would need 2 of those we need 12 not fortune teller uh 12 we need 52 and quite a bit of the 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 whatever the wood as well Oof. i mean hey we just got to get lucky that's all there is to it oh my god at least we got a plus one to our faith, so it was effectively a net neutral there. We just got six people. Oh my god, getting six people without having to um, pay the penalty for it is absurd. Oh my god. Minus three, minus 15, minus three. Why the hell would I want this in? It has done nothing but like literally just give me minuses. It gave me one positive, like, one time. Eh, I guess, nah. It gave me the peep. I, I literally did just say. Alright, well, the good news is... Let's think about it. Let's think about it. What's the, what's the good news? What's the good news? What's the good news? If I get a little bit more food... I 
I could, um... Hmm. Go for a cup of food. Hmm, where do I build the farms, though? can build it here. No, you can't build on that tile. Annoying. Can build another road here. That's super dumb looking. I guess I'll just build a farm here. Farm, farm. We still have four people. But now we have a hell of a lot more of that going. Our faith, it just, come on. Come on, faith. Have faith, have faith, have faith. Minus one. Oh my god, we got the 30 food. Come on, faith. Oh my god, bite me. Another 30 food is very cool, but we are on literally our last possible faith. After all of that. Oh man. The good news-ish is that we could theoretically build another one of these. There's a chance. It's by crystals. We have six blues, two reds on faith. But I don't I don't really have faith. <laughs> Come on, dude. This is too weighted. This is weighted to happen way too often. Wood boring incest invaded the forest. And the trees are da too damaged to be used for timber. It just It's way too weighted. Oh, wait. Why do I still have faith? Okay, okay, okay. There's a chance. Okay. All right. There, there, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. I don't know what... I don't know why that happened, but I'm happy about it. Is it like we need to lose? I don't know. Where's the tutorial? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the fact that I didn't lose. But also, what the hell? Okay. So we have... We have no extra mortals. These events, I tell you. They they have been a, a whirlwind, but I would I would wager they have been largely largely bad. We need a person to do anything. Wonder again, we need four hundred two fifty. So we would need another storage. For sure. But that can really be put anywhere. So we should put it somewhere like kind of stupid. Somewhere that's not close to much of anything. I think you... Let's see, so... If we wanted more faith... We would need... We would just need four more people. Which is just two houses. Just two houses. So we could go bang. Or it's a villa. But also then we wouldn't have enough goods. Oh god, I hope we have enough. We do still have enough. Okay, so hold on. This is by crystals, and hopefully it can be... Yeah, it can be built on here, and it's by crystals. Nine and three. All right. There we go. What do you got? Minus one. Plus zero. I'll take a plus zero at this point. That's fine. All right, 28, 21... Three minus three. Again, like, kind of getting that um, capacity. In case we, like, strike it rich, you know? Hmm. I think you can build a road through a forest. At the very least, I could build a logging camp. I could... The road here, we could build a logging camp. There, there. I guess that's something. 
it's, it's a little dumb, but it is something. Where's the storage? 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 Variety of materials. Okay. 30 food. I'll take it. Oh, there we go. Okay, it is possible. Plus, oh my god. Plus 13? Well, there you go. Faith is restored. Uh, so we got no mortals. We got 92, 10. Uh, it feels like we, yeah. Materials are desired a bit more right now. So logging camp, we need another person. Oh, wait. Oh, there's technically water right there. If I build a house here, then we're kind of like trapping ourselves in. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll put a logging camp in here. It's by the woods. We could put another one there by the woods. We could put like a. We could even put one here. There we go. It's a hell of a lot. 40 food, just cuz. Minus 20 wood, just cuz. Alright, generally fine, though. It's a lot of goods. Goods can be used to get what? Yeah, more, more logging camps. What about a mine? At 26. Holy crap. Near a mountain. Is this a mountain? That's a mountain. Okay, we could build it like here. Those are... Oh, those are all mountains. Those are all mountains. We could build it... Hey, I think I would be fine building it here, though. So we would need four... What does it take to build a... We got two of those. We, could, we can't afford that. We have, like, basically no materials. Oh, no. That's fine, actually. We can kind of, like, just build out a couple more homes. House. You know... House. Because we, we could always tank this. Wouldn't really matter. Because this is still going to be connected to this forest. Regardless... And then we could build maybe a mine. Oh, you can't build on that. Oh, can you build? You can build that here. I don't love it. Can we build a road? No. Okay, I, I do not love that. That would block me off. Something fierce. Do, do, road, 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 road. Build it there. I hate this. I hate this. It's for later. It's an investment. Okay, so that should, yeah, that that chunked that up like crazy. Missing a little bit of uh, of goods at this point. Oh lord. Could have could have gone way worse. Vineyard needs four people. We need a lot more uh, materials. We need to be up at like seventy. Jeez! You have no idea how, but the word is out about your village. People in, from the world are coming here to settle. That's huge. That is huge. Uh, near water. Less than or equal to one? Wait, what? You tell me... No, it says less than or equal to one, but it highlights... On this tile. Like it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it means, less than or equal to one. It just seems incorrect. It seems like it has it. Yeah, it seems like it has it on that tile. Okay, 52, 27. We are, like, thriving on that stuff now. Uh, what about sap? Yeah, that's the only only way to get sap. Temple. 
I feel like maybe... I mean, I could get another in Casino. What a way to go. Like, our faith is good, but it's so easy for it to just not be. <laughs> Alright, effects negative 10. So, the villa gives you 6. It's cost effective. It's cost effective for the penalty. It's like... It's like 2.5 times the penalty instead of 3 times the penalty of the house. Just by getting three times the value of people. So it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it to go for it. I was trying to figure out why. It seemed wrong, but that was when I thought it was just giving me double. It's give you, it gives you triple the people. Ouch. Um, we still have four people that we can use. So, if we have four people we can use, we shouldn't really be messing here. There's the mine, there's the fortune teller, there's an altar. I think we go for the altar. If we build here, then it's not built on crystals. We could build there. That'll work. Okay, so 12 and 4. That should keep us going for a long time. Minus 4, I mean, even still. Minus 20 and minus 4. Even so. Oh my god. That was wretched. Got minus 8 heart. You, you would... I just... You know. You wouldn't think. That increasing the amount of good hearts in the pool would give us such a bad penalty. Following a river upstream one day, you happen to... Upon a clearing you don't recall seeing before. Inundated with it, clear blue water and filled with strange looking trees whose... Roots are immersed in the water. Cut down a couple of the trees, bring back some wood. Explore, see if you can find anything useful. Uh, it looks like maybe we would do that. Oh, we get five material tiles. Great. Never felt better in your life. Thank you. Well, that was a good event at the very least. Very good event. Sure. Well, give me. Let's let's stockpile up if we hopefully can. Good. Village is bustling with activity. Sounds of clanging, sawing, shoes clattering over cobblestone. Celebration at the tavern for the air. Life is good here. Well, hell yeah. Again, I kind of want to stockpile before going for anything here. We want to crank a couple. Uh oh. Fortunately, Angel of Death has taken upon residence in your village. You know she's there, but you haven't had a dance with her for a while. Wait, we lost four mortals, but we didn't have any mortals, so... That's... At the very least, fine. Would you please? Would you please? Oh my god. Those... Like... We got... We added, like, two event tokens. Okay, there we go. There we go. We had, like, two event tokens. Just destroy this for the longest time. Okay, so we can go for the villa now. The question is where? Can you build across... Oh, you can build a bridge across water. But you can't make it drink. Okay. Just kind of trying to uh, get a clean pathway through. Villa. All right, so now we have six mortals to do what we want with. I think we kind of want a vineyard. That wants to be by water, right? Oh, thank God. Oof. So I have two mortals left. We could go for something else. 72, 32. I would say maybe focusing on a couple of lumber yards would probably be better here. Or logging camps. We cannot. We do not have the food. The good. Which we should be more likely to get now. Because of the extra vineyard. That should have skewed it. Nice. So 
So you can get up to two bonuses by being by trees and water. Like if we built it here, for example. It's just like, that feels a little too restricted. Like I feel like I'm trying to use my tiles, my water tiles for the other stuff. But there you go, technically, boom, we got plus, plus eight. All right, th things are starting to these these are starting to look pretty good now, and our faith is, you know, we can take some beatings. We've started to really get things going. We, we we've not really done much for sap, but like I feel like I don't need it as much. I feel like going for some storage could be all right. You know what? Let's put that here and just because storage is going to be required for like. A win con. Is that enough? 400, 250, 14. Yes. Okay. We could theoretically probably roll until we get the win condition. Probably. A lot of large numbers here looking at what we've got. We should be good to go. But hey. Ooh. Ooh. Bad things can happen. Good things can happen. Okay. 20. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Oh my god. My people died. But I didn't have any. Thank god. Plus 30, big roll. We're pretty much trying to get up to, like... I mean, there can be a roll... Holy crap, 12 mortals. What the hell? Uh... God, I wish I could tap out. Um... Maybe I can do two and go four. So, since we need materials... Getting, getting a mine. Getting a mine going could be good. So we can do that just like here. And then link it up. I think that's worth it. Worth the spend. That should pop the materials up pretty dark. Oh my god, we just, and we just got 12 more people just out of nowhere. Oh my, okay, well here's the, here's the pop off. Oh my god. And another 12 people. Okay, well, now we need, you know, sure, let's get some goods going. We got this. We might as well get, like, a um, vineyard. Hell, maybe... Why not second vineyard? Since we're missing the... We're pretty much just missing the goods now. Materials, we need, what, 400? Four hundred. Right, I'm trusting you. Come on, materials. You gotta be close. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Let me see it pop off. Hey, no. All right. What else is the other thing? What was it? It was a. There was the mine. Screw you, game. Screw you. I don't know where to put... I don't know where I could put it. Is the mine just got plus one by a rock? Could I just put it anywhere and it's just, it's just plus one by a rock? Yeah, screw it. At this point, I think we're fine. That should pretty much skew it towards materials, which should be enough to get us the ability to build Dewanda. Bonk. We've done it. Did I win? What does that... What does the wonder do? I would assume it would be a win. Was that not the victory condition? 
Am I out of my mind? Was that not the victory condition? Probably just goes forever at this point. Like, but there you go. Victory condition is a second wonder? Perchance? Maybe it's... Maybe. Why not have second wonder? Uh -huh. Huge. I mean, if we could get the uh, the lucky pop-off that just gives us a million people, that'd be great. Alright. Uh, How many people can we need? 14. <laughs> we just need... There we go. That's enough. Oh, no, we need sap. <laughs> uh, tell you what. Womp, womp, womp. Womp. How much sap do we need? Eight. Gotcha. I mean, it makes sense. We were, we didn't, we weren't focusing on it, but we just had some, and we just were, we were straying kind of neutral on it. Um, can I just like build through this? Oh god, yeah, you can. Fortune teller, fortune teller, more sap, more sap. I mean, the fact that we. Oh my god, there's all those people. The fact that we were able to, um... Oh. Oh my god. Slowly accumulate over time was good enough. But the fact that we kind of need to build just a second one is... A bit extra. Come on. I'm just... I just... Wow me. Sap. Please. 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 Please, Sap. I don't know what I just replaced, but it was somewhere else. Sap, please. I feel like I've tanked something like crazy. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now we need the materials. How do we lose how do we lose all those materials? Do we just get the penalties or something? 55. Oh, come on. Stop it. I just want a second. I just want a win times two. Is that so bad? I just want a double win. Is that a problem? Exponential growth, baby. Second wonder. Yeah, I think that there is. I think in the demo, there's maybe like not a win condition. Stay a bit longer. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go back to the tutorial. Uh, all you have to do is guide your mortals to a prosperous life and build a wonder representing the Yggdrasil. Succeed before mortals lose faith. I mean, technically, I didn't do that. Maybe that's why, like, maybe I was supposed to lose. Either way. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Fortuna. Uh, wild game. I think with some polish and some, uh, you know, some refinement on maybe, like, the tutorial aspect about, like, proper build order and things, I think that this could be uh, great. Things to, like, maybe help with that sort of, like, early game annoyance, but also maybe help cap off, like, the mid-game easy pop-off. I don't know. I don't know how it would really be done, but, like, seeing, um, I don't know. What, what else would I would you want here? I mean, like, different elements to be randomized in the roguelite formula, potentially. Like, we got, obviously, the randomization of this, but, uh, yeah, it says it's inspired by the roguelite elements. I, I see it being, you know, remotely inspired by, like, the, um, you know, like, the luck be a landlord style of quote-unquote deck builder. Uh, luck be a land likes. Um, I'd think that, you know what would be the most interesting angle to then take for this 
and hopefully this is the angle the game goes, is making sure that there are more buildings that have more unique symbols and things like that, and maybe ways that you can unlock different um, blueprints for different types of houses that have those symbols, like you unlock, unlock it over the course of the run. I don't know if it'd be through like a type of tech tree system or something like that, but like that angle to unlock different buildings that have different sorts of uh, randomized materials that you could gain or potentially lose. Like, I think that that could be a lot of fun. I, I really do think so. Um, I would say that I would also probably say that the events should also have their own blue and red symbols that also stray slightly more positive. I, I would say, like, you know, put, put in three blues two reds or like four blue four blues three reds or something um just to just so you know that it is skewed positive you know whether or not like it feels that way or whether or not it shows up that way you know that statistically it is supposed to be skewed positive i think that that'd be a good thing as well uh but this is a really like it's a really neat promising idea uh, taking a little bit of elements from all over the place. I think it could be a lot of fun with, uh, with a good chunk of polish. It's a clever idea, uh, and I think that time will do it well. I really do think so. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites, especially if they are doing kind of like a weird kind of mishmash, mashup combo of genre. I am all over that, especially, uh, which this game definitely did. So, be sure to check it out with the link in the top description. I don't know if the demo will still be up or not as part of the Steam Next Fest, but uh, you can definitely wishlist the game. Make sure you do that if you're interested in it. Alas, alas, thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.